Hi, I'm Tammy with Premier Utah Real Estate. Today we are with Alice Borweller of Security Home Mortgage. We're in her new office here in Tooele. And we wanted to talk to Alice about uh, USDA loans. A lot of buyers have questions about that. And that's, that is a loan that they can get here in Tooele County. And so Alice, thanks for being with us. Thank you, Tammy. Thanks for inviting me to be in your video. Yeah, I'm so glad you're here. So I think the first question is, what does USDA stand for? USDA stands for US Department U.S. Department of Agriculture, and which also known as a rural housing loan. And it's a loan that is 100% financing um, for borrowers, and it, does, it doesn't even have to be a first-time home buyer. It can be a second-time home buyer buying a house, and it's 100% a, it's a financing, so um, no money down payment. Okay. So zero down. Is, is it offered everywhere or just in certain areas? It's only offered in certain areas. Um, Suburban or rural areas, which um, Tooele County is a rural area, so all over in Tooele County is um, can do a USDA loan. So for Tooele County, they have income limits um, for a family of one to four. The income limits is ninety two thousand, so a pretty decent income that you can have. And then if you have a family five to eight or more, um, the income limit is one hundred twenty one thousand four fifty. When you say like a, a no down payment, is it really like a no down payment or will they get to closing and they'll have, they have to bring anything or is it, is it truly like they don't have to bring anything? So it is zero down. Um, you do have to pay your closing costs, but there's ways that your closing costs can be included. You can ask the seller to pay your closing costs. Um, you can um, see if the lender will pay your closing costs, which will usually be a higher interest rate to cover your closing costs. If it appraises for more, you can um, do a higher loan amount to include your closing costs. So, and also you can get a gift from family members to pay for your closing costs. So your closing costs, you would have for your closing costs, but then they typically run around two to two and a half percent of your loan. Amount. So is there a maximum that people can borrow? So there is not a maximum loan size. Um, it's just basically what you can qualify for. Okay. In Tuella. So. so even if they if they qualify for two hundred thousand or if they qualify for four hundred and fifty thousand, they can still do it. It's as long as their um, income and their debt ratios are in line and they qualify for that loan, then they can do any size of loan loan amount. Okay. And what about credit? Like what is what does their credit have to be in order to qualify? So for this? USDA doesn't have a FICO score requirement, but most lenders will require you to have a six forty uh, okay. FICO score. So Okay. Has that, has, has COVID affected that at all? Um, a little bit, changes? but it's coming back to a little bit normal. Like we were, um, they were requiring you to have a 660 at one time, but now it's back down to 640. It, so Alice, is there mortgage insurance on a USDA loan? There is mortgage insurance on a USDA loan. Um, so there's an upfront mortgage, um, a guarantee fee, which is 1%, and that's including in your loan amount. And then there's a monthly a 035 so that's 0.35 times your loan amount um, divided by that 12. So there is, and it's it's very minimal um, compared to like a FHA loan and stuff. So it's like okay. almost cut in half of what an FHA loan would be. Does it take longer to close on a USD loan like compared to like a conventional or an FHA? It does take a little bit longer because the file has to be underwritten in-house at our underwriters and then we have to also submit it to USDA and they have to look at the file as well. So that could be a few extra days in underwriting while we wait for their approval. So how long does someone have to be employed or, or have like longevity on their job in order to qualify for USDA? So they would like a two-year work history, um, but you can with USDA, which is a little nicer, like they can have been only on the job for like a month, at least a one month to show that they've been, you know, one month of pay stubs on that job. Um, so they can have, you know different jobs and stuff, but they would like to have a two-year work history, um, but not always. I have gotten them approved without not a two-year work history, like if they came out of college or if they have come home from a mission, you know, they'll look at that and, and, and show that as, a, as their history, you know, a work history as well. Oh, okay. What about self-employment? Can you get a USDA if you're self-employed? You self can get a loan with self-employment. Um, we just have to look at their two years tax returns and figure their self their income off of those two years tax returns. So you can be self-employed to get a USDA loan. And one question that I've had asked is, can somebody use a USDA loan if they're like buying investment property or a second home? Will, will the USDA allow that? Unfortunately not. It's only for first time, it's only for your primary residence home. So you cannot use it for a second home or an investment property. 
Um, how do the rates differ from a USD loan than like an FHA or a conventional? They're, so right now what I'm looking at is um, USDA rates are pretty close to what um, our FHA rates are, which are pretty low. They're still lower than what conventional rates are right now. Thanks, Alice, for being with us. And if you have any questions about USDA loan, give us a call and we can help you out or we could get you with Alice to answer any questions. Thank you.